Hi, I'm Mary Jo Feely with Fourth Dimension Healing in Stillwater, Minnesota, and I'm also the director of the Center for Crystal and Healing Studies, which is my online school. Today, I want to take just a couple of minutes to talk with you about a gemstone that I believe is really helpful in supporting emotional healing, which is done particularly in the heart chakra, and doing it in a way that is very grounding and connecting with the earth energies. And the gemstone I want to talk with you about today is ruby fuchsite. So as its name implies, you hear the names of two different stones within this particular stone I'm gonna show you. And so here is an example of ruby fuchsite. This is one of the pieces that I uh, work with here in my healing practice. And you can see that it has these points of ruby, which is the red form of corundum. It has a hardness of nine on the Mohs hardness scale. So it's a very durable stone. And then it is embedded within this beautiful kind of uh, chromium mica type of stone, which is fuchsite. Now fuchsite has a hardness of about two to 3.5. So it's very soft. This is very fragile and friable. The ruby, while it is embedded in there and is hard, is not going to be able to protect the stone from a lot, a lot of nicks and knocks that may happen as you store it. So be mindful of that. So the fuchsite resonates with the water element, the ruby with the earth. So you have this beautiful earth water balance. Now, if you're not familiar with the system of elements that I work with, which are earth, fire, water, wind, and storm, you can find more information about that in some of my other videos. But essentially, anytime we work with earth, it's going to help balance and stabilize some of the other imbalanced energies within our energy center. And when we are working on healing as it relates to the heart chakra, as we are healing emotional imbalances, that tends to be very kind of a watery, elemental relationship and so we will want to ground that healing and this is where the ruby comes in really effectively. I wanted to show you some examples that are fairly representative of what I carry in my online shop. So here again we have the ruby which is about this enlightened um, grounding. All right it's not just grounding it's kind of like this really uh, enlightened, awakened state of how do we ground really effectively. And then the fuchsite, which is about unconditional love. And when you think about unconditional love, that can show up really warm and fuzzy. It sometimes shows up as kind of tough love. And the fuchsite can really be a great representation of both. Here is another example. Beautiful pockets of both the fuchsite and the ruby. And you know the pieces, I've talked with you before about them, they don't need to be big. Some of these smaller ones are just wonderful to slip inside a pocket, maybe in your pillowcase at night. Uh, maybe you want a little bit bigger piece like this. This is a nice one as an example, it's nice and flat. It could easily uh, be placed on or around the body. It won't tend to roll off too much. If let's say you wanted to work with this one as I do here in my healing practice. And let's say you wanted to work with that at your heart and it kept rolling around, just take a little cloth and set it inside the cloth and fold it, uh, fold it around the stone. And that will be a nice way for you to keep that stone in place, placing it in your hands, uh, all kinds of different ways to work with it. If you are interested in working with a crystal grid in ruby fuchsite, perhaps having, here's this small one that's nice and flat. This could be a beautiful example of how you could have it in the very center of your grid. And then you can have the geometrical properties that extend out from the grid to be able to help emanate outward from the grid, the properties of the ruby fuchsite. So again, it connects with earth energy. It connects with the water energies. It connects with the grounding root chakra. It connects with the loving open heartedness and emotional healing center of the heart chakra. So it is this wonderful 
balancing stone that brings in both the gentle or tough love, whatever we may need, and that grounding from a place of higher, higher vision, higher um, awakened state so that we can really understand how we bring the grounding and the heart-centered work together to be able to support body, mind, spirit, wellness. So take a look at the links below. You'll find links for my online shop. You can learn more about Ruby Fusite and you can also um, take a look at what I have available in my online shop. You can also find links below this video for my online school. And through the Center for Crystalline Healing Studies, I offer a number of crystal courses. I have introductory basic um, courses as well as advanced crystal healing courses. I have a crystal healer certification program. Maybe you really are ready to kind of dive into working with crystals and becoming a crystal healer. Um, take a look at that. And I also offer energy healing and Reiki courses through my school. So reach out to me if you have questions, send me a text, send me an email or a chat through my website. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you have. For now, I simply wish you many blessings. Be well.